Hey family, how you doing? Robert Sales in Nashville. I'm just coming to you with another word on tonight. And this one is actually from Matthew, the 24th chapter. And we're going to begin with the 23rd verse. And I'm reading from the King James Version tonight. And it says, Then if any man shall say unto you, Lo, here is Christ, or there, believe it not. For there shall arise false Christs and false prophets, and shall shew great signs and wonders, insomuch that, if it were possible, they shall deceive the very elect. You know, and uh, when I read through that scripture, it, it, it kind of even saddens me, you know, because when I think about it, what the scripture is saying, you know, if you look, go back to this one particular part of here where it says, in so much, at, now it says, first of all, that they perform great signs and wonders, right? But the, the purpose of performing these signs and wonders when you're talking about a false prophet or a false Christ is to fool or deceive people. And they have deceived even the very elect. The very elect, meaning the people who are, are mature in ministry, the people who have grown in, in Christ and, and studied and labored many hours and many weeks, months, and years in the field, that they even, even they have become uh, deceived and began to change their belief systems. And now all of a sudden, you know, they're getting new revelations on, on about what the Lord is saying. And, you know, we have to be very careful, lady, careful. <laughs> we have to be very careful, ladies and gentlemen, because, you know, it's, it's easy to be fooled. You have to remember, if there's someone who has been walking with Christ for half their life and all of a sudden they're fooled and they're, they've changed the, the entire gospel around that no longer includes Christ as a re requirement for salvation, but actually excludes Christ. And, uh, you know, the whole point of it is that we'll be able to live in heaven without consequence, without accountability, without judgment, because we're all included. And that's something that we have to be careful of, because what that does is it falls on and it pleases those ears who need something nice to hear. So those people that say, don't judge me, you know, that's basically those type of people. And they fall into that type of category. So they love that type of preaching. We have to be careful not to be led into uh, following a false prophet because a false prophet is going to lead you straight to hell. Yes, we have no problem saying that because it is the truth. There are many people right now that, that have died and gone to hell and have been led astray. The blind leading the blind have been led into a pit, ladies and gentlemen. So make sure that you understand the word of God for yourself. Make sure that you read and more importantly, pray and spend time with God to ask him to show you so you can understand and hear his voice when he speaks. That's very important because the last thing you want is to be led astray thinking that you're being told the truth when in all honesty, it's just a lie. So be careful, ladies and gentlemen. Read your word, pray, study, ask God for revelation. He will show you everything that you need to know as you walk in him every day throughout your day. God bless you all and have a wonderful day.